Hi folks, welcome back to the horror. Just a quick video. Um, let's see, it's about 2 o'clock, 26.9 degrees Celsius, 68% humidity. Um, and this says, welcome to Tuesday. It's 80 degrees. It is the 23rd. Um, we build in the carburetor on that puppy. And I found something, you know, very interesting. I think I expressed concerns that somebody had been in here before me um, and that I was concerned about the carburetor having all its pieces. So I took it apart and I rebuilt the bottom, soaked it, cleaned the jets. You guys all know how to do that, so no big surprise there, right? Um, this is, I guess, kind of the vacuum slide. Goes back and forth, right? And in that hole right there, there's a needle. This guy here goes through the center of the um, of the slide and slides in and out of that, right? Am I showing it to you? There you go. While I was checking it out, I noticed that the um, slide was, or the needle, was floating loose in the slide. That's not good. That's not good at all. So, I took it apart, right? You got the cap on top. You got this thing in the hole, bang, of course the needle's acting up, um, you got the spring holding the whole affair into place, but there was no, um, I'm going to call it capture for the, um, for the needle, there was nothing keeping it from floating up and down, right? With the spring in place, right, there's nothing down there on the bottom of the hole to keep it keep it steady. If you guys are familiar with um, the PZ27, typically you have a little clip that looks something like that, right? Where if this is the slide, assume it's round, these things push out and hold up against the slide. This little hole right in there is the pin. Typically you have a C-clip on it and the spring comes down, right? And holds the whole thing in place. This thing is missing that. So I fooled around and tried to make it out of Pepsi cans and, you know, I don't know, is it a copyright violation that I'm using a Pepsi can? And uh, anyway, I didn't have any luck, so what it looks like I'm going to do is I made this little disc. So I'm just going to put that down there, right, slide it into place, then I'm going to have the spring kind of hold everything down. Um, not primo, not perfect, and um, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to have to do. I doubt that clip is available anywhere. I looked up a bunch of rebuild kits, um, and I didn't. I didn't see it in the rebuild kits. Uh, they they give you something that looks like this, but that doesn't look like the right thing either. So. Um, 
Yeah, it's, it, it's hard to really show you, but beneath that disc, there's kind of a raised area that holds the pin up, and then it goes um, in further. It, it looks like a retaining clip, something like this, would be, would be the best thing, right? So the raised area where the pin is, is, is up a little bit, and then those two lower areas where the spring would settle it down into the, into the bottom of the um, of the slide so anyway that's what I came up with I'm gonna continue putting this together um, and hopefully get a start out of this thing before the uh, end of uh, today um, which would be great to start it take it for a ride and as um, I got a storm blowing in they're saying uh, that it can actually be uh, ugly, like, you, you know, hurricanes and stuff like that. Typically, we don't have too much trouble with that around here. I got um, a bunch of hills and valleys and, you, you know, there's the Hudson River. You, you know, um, there's the Litchfield Hills. You know, all the mountain range along, you know, Mount Beacon and, you know, up above around Saratoga. So normally we don't get hurricanes and all. The, uh, all those hills and dales and all has a tendency to mix up the airflow enough where it confuses it and, and it just breaks up that kind of wind activity. Though they are claiming uh, there is something blowing in and, and one could actually feel it, so... We'll see how it all all turns out. Probably it'll be nothing, but it's nice to be warned. So let's go with that. Anyway, folks, I want to thank you all for watching and commenting and subscribing. Make sure when you're rebuilding a carburetor that your needle, your your um, slide needle, your throttle slide needle, is positioned properly that it stays put that it's not allowed to float. With it floating like that, the throttle would be all over the place. Um, it it would they have a tendency to run rich because the needle has a tendency to stay up and when the needle's up it allows extra fuel in um, so one would have a bitch of a time you, you know you just keep monkeying with it and you just wouldn't get it to behave properly so um, particularly down at idle it would be it would be rich because the needle would be up too high when it should be settled into place. Up at higher speeds, you know, the needle will probably go about where it should be, or if it's running a little bit, it, a little bit rich at higher speeds, it can deal with it. So it would be less less of a big deal. But down at idle, it would have a tendency to thud, 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 you know, kind of load up and stall. Um, Anyway, folks, once again, thanks for watching, commenting, subscribing. Keep your feet down, keep your head up, and get out there and enjoy all your days. Even if they're predicting a storm, what the heck, you probably, the lightning will probably miss you. Bye now.